Hi, everyone. So, in the 80s, a computer looked like that. 20 years later, in the 2000s, uh, computers were portable. You could bring them anywhere with you. And nowadays, we all have a smartphone in our pockets as powerful as a computer. Well, the same phenomenon happened in a lesser known field. If we can come back. Um, medical diagnostics. So you all know during the pandemics, PCR tests, they were the most accurate method to detect the presence of or absence of the virus. And the exact phenomenon came into this field with the PCR test, which is a technology that was born in the 1980s. And in the 1980s, a PCR machine looked like the huge uh, device on the left. And 20 years later, uh, PCR devices are much more compact, extremely performant, and very simple to use. And so that miniaturization of PCR technologies uh, enabled the um, revolution of point-of-care diagnostics. So point-of-care testing is the ability to bring at the right time and as close to the patient as possible very accurate ways of uh, diagnostics. So as close to the patients, for example, in pharmacies or at home or even in the field. And the reason we are discussing this with you today is because the PCR market, it's a $20 billion market worldwide. And this subsegment, so point of care diagnostics, is the fastest growing segment uh, in this field. It's 24% growth every year since the last five years. And it's targeted at $27 billion in 2030. And so today we're very proud um, with Margot, who's a synthetic biologist uh, scientist, to present the result of 10 years of a breakthrough innovation at Harvard, at Arizona State University, and now at Encarta Diagnostics. A PCR-like diagnostics that can run in 20 minutes and fit in your pocket. So the technology at the core of our diagnostics, it's a programmable technology, and it's been proven in peer-reviewed papers on five pathogens and four sample types. No and what did we do with that? Yes, what do we do with that? Um, I still have no clue. We had a very good idea to connect it. Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> and so with Guillaume, who worked uh, f you know, for 10 years in a very complex sorry, IT systems, how did we decide to power our diagnostics? By using the other device that everyone has in their own pockets, a smartphone. Thanks. So the smartphone powers uh, the tests. It also enables, it also enables uh, to guide the user in a step-by-step -step manner. And uh, finally, what does it does too? Um, you can obviously send the result of your test to your preferred telehealth provider. And so today, we're starting with the detection of Lyme disease. Why? Because our client, pharmacist, they confirm the need to have a convenient and point of care detection at the pharmacy just after a tick bite when you come back from a hike. So it's a very big market, but the potential for a point of care precise diagnostic is huge. You can think of uh, sexually transmitted diseases where basically many people would rather diagnose that in the comfort and intimacy of their home rather than in a center. You can think um, of the detection between a viral infection or a bacterial infection for a child at the pediatrician office. This is a key problem worldwide because you want to give antibiotics in one case and not in the other. And the right use of antibiotics is a major problem worldwide. So when we created the company, Keith, Alex, Margot, myself, we had the same vision that we've got today. It's building an industrial company that increases the access, that by increases the access of diagnostics, bring better care everywhere. So we've secured the first tranche of our first pre-seed round, so we are very happy. And uh, 50 Partners Health brings us one step closer to bringing this product to market. Test, test, test. It was the message from the WHO during the COVID uh, crisis. Tomorrow, our vision is that there's as much capacity of tests as there are phones in people's pockets. <laughs> 